light, visible bundles of energy. Since the beginning of time, man has sought to harness light. Thomas Edison first succeeded in 1879 when he invented the light bulb. What is light? Like planets around the sun, negatively charged electrons revolve in fixed paths or orbits around atomic nuclei. When an electron goes from a lower to a higher energy level, it emits a corresponding amount or quantum of energy in the form of light. Einstein postulated the stimulated emission of radiation in the scope of his quantum theory. This theory, put forward by the brilliant scientist in 1917, was the basic concept of lasers. Light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation, or laser, has revolutionized world technology. With lasers, the emission of photons is induced not spontaneously, but intentionally. When a photon strikes an already stimulated atom, the atom emits a new photon that is identical to and travels in the same direction as the incident photon. The incident quantum of light is therefore amplified by the newly emitted quantum. The number of photons grows in snowball fashion. This avalanche transmigrates the atom within a tiny fraction of a second. To increase the number of photons produced, two parallel mirrors can be set up to create resonance in the laser system. Since all of these photons have the same energy, direction and wavelength, a standing wave of light is produced. Active laser systems therefore require a continuous input of energy, which is generally supplied in the form of light or electricity. The laser system therefore loses energy as this laser beam is produced. Unlike sunlight or lamp light, laser light is highly bundled and temporally and spatially coherent. It is also monochromatic and has a high to very high energy density. Laser is not a naturally occurring light form. The first working laser was developed by the Canadian scientist Theodore Maimon in 1960. His solid state ruby laser sparked a wave of developments which the initiator, Albert Einstein, did not live to see. Solid-state lasers, like Maimon's ruby laser, the neodymium YAG, and the erbium YAG laser, emit light in the infrared spectrum. Liquid lasers, like the KTP, on the other hand, generate visible light. Gas lasers, like the CO2 laser, emit radiation in the infrared spectrum. And excimer lasers emit ultraviolet light. Therapeutic diode lasers operate in the near-infrared range, 